Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anuj. I'm a second year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur. In this video, I'll do a highly requested study with me episode, episode number 14, and take you through a day in my life, just studying all day, preparing for my exams. After watering my plant, oxygen. Good morning, everybody. Today's target are basically FATO2, a little bit of ENT, and a little bit of medicine. So let us see how that pans out. And yeah, welcome back. Like I told in my last video, I am restarting my preparation for third and final year as exams have been postponed. And usually, my routine has become such that in the morning after waking up, watching the video lectures of ENT taught very beautifully by Dr. Manisha Ma'am on marrow. She is here teaching us about the anatomy of the middle ear and she is doing so by showing us the very beautiful examples of actual photos as well as schematic diagrams. This part, the anatomy of middle ear is kind of complex but the explanation given by ma'am is so beautiful that anybody can understand it, especially aided by the endoscopic videos and photos of actual internal organs that are in place. So far I haven't even purchased the book of ENT. Thanks to the awesome videos, my syllabus is getting covered. I always make sure to do the question bank after I'm done with the video. And if you are a marrow user, I would suggest the same to you as well. All the images that you're seeing in this video are practical knowledge which we would not have gotten if we did not go to clinics. And I love the fact that Edition 5 brings in a lot of clinical core ideas to marrow. You might notice that I'm not taking any notes over here. The reason is I've ordered the notes of Plan C and hopefully that should compensate for me not making any notes. After that, I start with my very first target of the day that is systemic pathology. And you might be wondering why is Anuj always studying pathology in this video. And to be honest, I am wondering the exact same things. It just happens that my reading patho and shooting videos coincide on the very same day. Anyways, the chapter that I was doing over here was of the blood vessels pathology, where we talk about what all can go wrong with the blood vessels like vasculitis, atheroma formation, arteriosclerosis, tumors, etc. One chapter done, 15 more to go. Systemic patho has 16 chapters and to battle that, I must stay hydrated. Just like my plant oxygen. Anyways, after doing that, I move on to do the chapter on the pathology of the heart or the cardiovascular system. Here we study about different diseases such as ischemic heart disease, rheumatic heart disease, different type of endocarditis, tumors of the heart, different infections of the heart, etc. Right guys, two down, 14 more to go. I'm on the respiratory system now. So yeah, let's go. The book that I'm using over here is Harsh Mohan. The book is really great for examination purposes. You can see that I'm using phone here as my iPad holder. That does two things. First of all, it separates me and my phone so that Whenever I'm studying, I can't use it and get distracted. Another part is, I can view my iPad better. When I was revising this pathology, what came to my mind was how the different subjects in our medical profession are so linked together. Right from biochemistry when we are talked about LDL, to the different vessels we study in anatomy, to the physiology of the conduction of the heart, right to pathology where we are studying about ischemic heart diseases, to pharmacology where we study its treatment and medicine its management, Everything is so linked together and everything is so interesting. Alright everyone, done with 3 chapters, uh, 13 more left. I decide to take a quick shower at around 1.30. And I make my way downstairs to receive my parcel which is of two dumbbells of 7.5 kilograms so that I could make my muscles hypertrophy. At the same time, my mom forces me to have my lunch while watching Spider-Man Homecoming. Hello everyone, I'm just back from my lunch and let's continue our journey towards completing systemic pathology. The next chapters are small and hence I pass through them very easily. They are of the pathology of the ear and the eye and after I'm done with it, I end up in a very big chapter of GIT. So right from the stomach till the rectum, all the different diseases, everything is listed over here. The 16 chapters that I'll be completing today are of different lengths. So sometimes it may take me so long to do two chapters, but sometimes I can do so many chapters in one go. So don't be startled. And most of all, this is my revision phase where I've already studied everything. Therefore, I'm so quick at revising it. We are 
done at liver currently let's see how it goes moving on to the liver pathology we encounter a lot of different conditions hepatitis cirrhosis liver failure hepatocellular carcinoma cholelithiasis cholangitis etc all right guys so nine more chapters are left now i'm i've reached that level of saturation where sentences are not sentences they are just words to me so it's time to take a break for like 2 2 hours i think and then my mind will refresh and i can get back where words will start to make sentences again when such a thing happens i usually take coffee and I take a walk on my rooftop when i go there i see a very beautiful orange sunset as well as a very beautiful moon in the night as the sun sets down i speak to the camera Hello everyone I'm back at the rooftop of the so long in the study with me series I remember coming here initially when the lockdown started so much has changed in my life since then thank you so much to all of you guys for being a part of this wonderful journey and uh, I remember reading the first chapter of pathology in a study with me video and now here we are at almost the second last episode of this series and I'm done with everything I've revised it n number of times anyways I just wanted to give a little side talk kind of thing over here So uh human life can be divided into two phases the first 25 years and the next 25 years and in any one of these phases you have to work slightly more than normal if you don't work for the first 25 years of your life that your second phase will not be good but if you work really hard in the first 25 years of your life the next 25 will be pretty much sorted out for you now it's up to you to decide whether to waste this first 25 years of your life doing things which are not really that worthy uh and letting it all go away or you can use it use your time do something better and make the rest of your life amazing and by work i do not mean that you have to do 16 hours of work study hard work every day do like 4 5 hours 6 hours of work and then have fun for the rest of the time anyways let's go back after my short ted talk is done i make my way downstairs again and transfer all the footage from today's recording to my computer so that i can empty my card and record once again while i'm doing that i get a call from my very dear friend bhushan hey everyone i just found out this amazing channel this guy has this very handsome looking guy has So you should go subscribe to him. It's linked down below in the description. And also while you're at it, throw the like button on his video as well as on my video. So yeah. It's around 7:30, and I decide that I'll go forward by studying the pathology of the kidney. Here we encounter a lot of diseases such as glomerulonephritis, acute kidney injury, kidney failure, pyelonephritis, tumors of the kidney, etc. After doing the kidney chapter, I encounter a few short chapters. For example, the chapter on skin, bone, musculoskeletal system, soft tissues, the breast and male and female reproductive system. In most of these chapters, we have to read about different sort of tumors, and those are really easy to do. And hence, I quickly end them. Two chapters remaining. Like I can't believe we have come this far. <laughs> I honestly did not believe that this would actually be a success. So let us just continue doing endocrine and then CNS. Yay! At around 10:30 I go back downstairs to have my dinner and eat ice cream while watching Godzilla. After that is done, I roam around for a bit because my mom tells me that you should not sleep right after you've eaten something. and talk to my sister urvashi and she tells me a lot about her residency and how her life is going on in general without any further ado i come back upstairs and start doing the last two chapters of my entire 16 chapter journey in a single day the first chapter is the endocrine chapter which is fairly a very important chapter because it discusses about all the different endocrine pathology for example thyroid cancers hyperhypothyroidism pancreatic adrenal cancers and their different pathologies such as diabetes chromocytoma i really love endocrine and if possible i will try my best to become an endocrinologist in the future the last thing that i do is central nervous system chapter which has a lot of tumors and a lot of infections for example meningitis encephalitis congenital defects meningiomas gliomas etc they are confusing and it's night but still i managed to do it somehow 
My last message to give to all of you would be that if you think that something is impossible and that's the reason you're not trying it, then I suggest that you give it a shot. If you feel like one topic is bothering you and therefore you're not studying it, sit today and study it. Because the only limitations are those that we create in our minds. Otherwise, we can be infinite. We can be unstoppable. Hi everyone, finally it's 1.23 right now and I am done with everything, done with around 16 chapters of pathology, entire of systemic pathology I would say, with a few lectures of ENT and in all a very very productive day. Let the narration take over. Good night. So to every viewer who is watching this, I hope that after studying for more than 10 hours, recording everything, editing it, I have touched your life, I have changed your life, I have added some sort of value to your life. And if yes, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button because it would cover up for all the effort that I'm taking and also it would mean a lot to me. If you can, the best way to support me would be to share my content to all of your friends. Thank you so much for watching. This is Anush Vashel. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. Until next time, I will see you soon.